When Governor Christie takes the podium tonight, it will be a much anticipated moment in the New Jersey delegation. Some of the delegates told us they're excited. I can't tell you how excited I am and how excited the whole delegation is to hear the governor. That's why our hotel is full. We have over 600 people that came down for this speech and uh, everyone's excited. I, I can't wait to hear what he has to say. If it's if it's anything like the governor's speech, I'm sure everybody's going to be very impressed. And, uh, as a New Jersey delegate, Republican, I couldn't be prouder to have our governor as a keynote speaker. In a private, no cameras briefing with New Jersey reporters yesterday, Christie said there will be some things new in his keynote speech and some familiar. He said the Romney campaign has read the speech but didn't change a word or comma. He showed it to a tight circle of fewer than 10 people, he said, so he wouldn't be bombarded with suggestions. Christie said he's not worried about coming off as too combative. My number one priority, he said, is sounding like me. Christie said the Romney campaign didn't even make any suggestions for themes in the speech, but several delegates we spoke to would like to see some things. I just want all of, of America to hear what we hear on a daily basis, what the governor's trying to do, really to talk about what the Republican Party, uh, what we're trying to uh, do for America, to bring it back, to save America, in my opinion, um, because under President Barack, Barack Obama, I do not feel he has American interests at heart. Former Governor Tom Kane, who delivered the keynote in 1988, said he's excited too. You know, it's very rare that a state, you know, it only happens every four years, very rare, rare that a state gets a keynote speaker. I mean, how many have we had? Two in the last century? So this is, a, this is a big deal, and I'm very proud of the state and very proud of Chris Christie. This is only the second Republican convention Christie has attended. The other was the year 2000. In 04 and 08, he was U.S. attorney and couldn't attend. Twelve years ago, he could walk the floor unrecognized. Tonight, he's giving the keynote. For NJ Today, I'm Michael Aaron in Tampa.